good moments on Lee Sin, although most other people have been still shying away from that, going for more common priority picks. See if we can get that early lead in game number three as we jump into the final set. And this is... Okay, so let's take a look at this. I mean, this is just, just straight up. Hey, what's up? And there's a the follow through. <laughs> I mean, you can't even flash away from that. So, finishing from Shy, do they actually want to just go in on this? Ambition's here. He has his ultimate. And there's the knockback, but there's a flash forward by Gorilla to block the hook. And he's just going to sacrifice himself, giving Smep time to come in. There's the Emperor's Divide. But Space is here first. Kuro has no mana. He's got the flash forward, but Ambition gets the kill on the follow through. Coco actually picks it up with the poison sack. They're going to have to keep Smep down as Space gets that last hit. And this is a disaster for Koo Tigers as they lose three members and the mid lane now heading down towards Mad Life at the moment, joining up with Mad Life to try and get some vision control. There's and Gorilla. They go on to Gorilla, but here comes Wisdom and the double Glacial Prism, the Death Charge onto Ambition. Ambition gets drawn back, and Emperor's Divide might actually save Ambition. There's the Equalizer, it doesn't hit, and the Petrifying Gaze comes in onto Gorilla. Shies all the way up front, and there's the On the Hunt from Spacey. Flashes forward, he wants those kills. They're just lined up for him. Kuro, meanwhile, gets caught by Mad Life. Mad Life all alone here, though, as Ambition shows up. Coco should be able to get that double kill. Ambition also going with the safeguard. Shy, does he have one more charge? No, it's not going to be too safe under that tower, but wow, the Koo Tigers not able to pick up the kill onto Ambition, used all their ultimates. And that is a 7-0 kill score now. And look at this, just walking through the ward, they don't care. It's three versus five or four as Mad Life just walks in, gets the hook onto Prey. The Dev Charge and the Glacial Prison on two people, but Prey's not there for the damage. It's going to be one kill for Coco, one kill for Space, another one for Space. That one actually goes to Ambition, everyone just being friends. Life, just getting a hook onto Gorilla. Oh, he actually goes in and flashes forward with the box. He's going to take a lot of damage. Goes out first, but the Petrifying Gaze coming in, and there's the flank from Shy. He goes onto Kuro. Kuro not going to die just yet. He flashes forward for the kill. Meanwhile, Coco gets a kill onto Gorilla. Two men down. Ambition charges all the way forward. Gets the kick just to slow Smep down a little bit. Smep trying to get hungry for the kill, but there's Shy. There's Coco as Wisdom charges forward to block off the damage from Coco. Coco might die here. He's dangerous, but there's the safeguard for Ambition. Ambition is flying all over the fight as Shy continues to refuse to die. Picks up a double kill for himself. There's the flash and the chilling smite. <laughs> and he's going to follow through on this. I can Righteous just feel glory. it. Righteous glory. Oh, it runs out, but Shy's going to go ahead and pick that one up for the <laughs> ace against the Koo Tigers. Shy is so good at team fighting. Holy cow. Wow. But ambition. A zero wall for Righteous Glory. That's. Oh, wisdom. Walked right into the sapling, into the box, the double petrifying gaze, and Shy up front denying all the damage from Trey. A double kill for Coco. The Equalizer just to deny the advance and the Sand Soldier. And CJ still wanted that kill, but... Mistakes were made. <laughs> uh, well, they can afford that at this point, I guess. Shy getting hit by uh, the Arctic Assault, and there's the Equalizer, but Coco doesn't care. Death Charge might matter a little bit, though, as Shy gets it up, but Ambition kicks Smep back from the damage, and Ambition goes in to help get the kill for Shy as Prey just explodes on that ultimate from Maokai. Ambition jumping in once again. Doesn't have that Dragon's Rage, so he just stands there for a second. And CJ enters. The rest of the team groups up to charge forward. The inhibitor going down in mid. 15 seconds left until Wisdom comes out, but CJ Antis has that Baron buff, so their minions are going to do a lot of damage onto these Nexus Towers. And it looks like CJ Antis should be able to secure this game three. As the Tigers, yeah, I mean, Kuro doesn't really have an answer for this either. No, em oh, the Empress Fight is up, but he, yeah, he just uses it as the Nexus goes down. And CJ Entis wins 2-1 yet again. As some chuckling from Shy right there in the end. <laughs> Coach Sun coming into the booth, congratulating his players. Well played by everyone in that last game. Healthy amounts of face slapping <laughs> <laughs> for encouragement. Mad Life looking a bit tired after that one, but well done by CJ Antis. And I'm glad to see Ambition playing Lee Sin because it wouldn't be yeah. Korean League of Legends without some crazy Lee Sin exactly. mechanics. And he definitely did a good job that game. A tough loss for the Tigers, but they played so much better tonight than they have at any other point during the season. Yeah, yes. they got they got rocked in that last game, <laughs> but game one and two, they really did play very well. So that's an encouraging sign for them because they have a lot of circuit.